It's uh, 17 against 17, ultimately with use of the interchanges. And it will be who can cope with this surreal atmosphere the best. The last time the Salford uh, team were at Wembley, 51 years ago, 97,000 plus. The Rhinos for uh, to post some points. Leeming coming out of dummy half. Gales comes to this left hand side. Myler's involved. So too is Liam Sutcliffe. Just that one try, but leads all over this 2020 Cup final as it stands. Myler switches it left to Hanley. Hanley cuts back on the inside. His own mate Callum Watkins is the big blocking presence. Lussock. Brown. Up it goes. It's um, it's spiralling, so it's a difficult one to take. Yeah, and, it. and having said that, that was brilliant from Myler. It really was because the ball was spiralling about in in this empty stadium, and Myler had to adjust. You see there, he has to pin it, go backwards, catching it over his shoulder, which is a very difficult skill to execute. New to Salford this year, Luke Yates, but he's been a really good player for them. Evans now cuts down the middle, middle chip and a chance, but it's taken by Myler instead, and he returns with interest. Why, oh why? Why didn't he look to his left? A man in support, it was beautifully crafted from Kevin Brown to release Evans, but rather than the chip over the top, he had a man on his left hand side. Brilliant, just watch this. You know, good communication, inside boys, chasing too much. Oh. Last play, last play, Gale again. Now they've got numbers and they've got a try. Nash Hanley down this left hand side. They simply outnumbered them. And by the time it came to the left winger, it was a simple job to score. Well, that's the reason Richie Myler is in this side. Yes. It really is. Because Low Gale, everybody, last tackle play. They're expecting a kick. The orthodox one would be a kick high for Handley to have a go. But what he does, he runs the ball and look at that pass. That is beautiful. It is skill to the nth degree there from Richie Myler. It's in and out at the blink of an eye. That's what strips the numbers. That's what gives us space for Handley to cross wide out. Yeah, so Watkins goes in. You've got, the winger's got to go in with him. Then it makes it, you know, twice as hard to get two beautiful balls away. You know, what a fantastic, fantastic pass there by Richie Myler. But there's the architect of a wonderful second try for Leeds. Yeah, it was marvellous, wasn't it? Yeah. You've just got to admire skill like this. And yes, perhaps Rich Williams is a little off, but you wouldn't have expected the, the no. pass to be as executed as well as that. That was a 10 out of 10 piece of skill execution. He's knocked him over and ran over him. High for Myler. He's having a solid game, more than just a solid game. He's having a brilliant game. And off he goes again. Richie Myler tearing them up down the middle. The leads are on the way again here. Wrong. He's very good, but at Wembley, he's something else. And now Gale goes left, and here is a, an opportunity to try and push and probe. So like he's causing Watkins some trouble, you know. He's, uh... He is. They're testing leads. But they're on the last again. Lola here. Hoofs it. Myler's underneath it. Not as much pressure this time. He'll be ruining that last missed opportunity to save the day, but he's had such a good cup final. We've talked about luck of the crowd, though, Dave, and this is the last quarter is when you start feeling fatigued, and sometimes the cloud can lift you and take you through it. Not today. But not today, yes. There's Myler just running into a red wall. That's when you've got to communicate and, and keep talking to each other, picking each other up. That's Yates, up and plays. Lussick still going. Loma here with a kick. Myler should take this easily and does. Already up to the 30. Brown advances. As does McCarthy. Two more there as well. Last play for Leeds, but they're only 10 metres away. Louis comes out. Gale now. Gale puts the ball away. Williams tries to come in and stop it, but he can't stop it. And it's going to be Ash Handley. Who scores in the corner, but... He thinks it's a try on the field. We're going to the video referee again, Ben Thaler. OK, tackle five on field, a live call of a try, and we're just checking the grounding of the ball. So that's fine, handing ball, slow it down. Right, just go to the side angle for that if we can. So looking to make sure there's no separation.
Slow it down. Right, that's a try. I'll tell you when you're on shot, Liam. Just wait there. Right, you're on screen now, mate. You cannot stop him scoring this year, that's Henley. It's his second of the final. He's um, already running away with things in Super League with 12 tries in that competition. And he's just got his team back level again. And again, the link, the link player was Richie Myler. Yep. There he is, gets his hands free from the tackler and just offloads. Well, that's his experience. He, yep. he made the early, earlier error, which cost them a try. But he knew there was plenty of time left. He knew he'd get an opportunity to rectify it. And he's provided the assist on the left-hand side with the very last pass. Again, it's just clever play from Gale. Caused a bit of chaos on the right side yeah. of the Salford defence. And then it was really well executed. Myler to Handley. And it was Watkins that came in. And I don't think it any needed to. Will they get up and play it? Hooter oh. sounds before they do. And Leeds gather round in jubilation. Salford sink to their knees. But what a cup final we've seen here today. It's a year to remember for so many reasons. So many wrong reasons. But today we've been given a final that we will remember for all the right reasons. What a great game of rugby league that was.